Hello, I'm David Attenborough, and today we have a unique opportunity to talk to one of the most popular and powerful activists and environmentalists today. Her name is Greta Thunberg, and she joins us today. Hello, Greta. Hello. I hope this doesn't take very long. You're using fossil fuels to produce the show. <laughs> Little girl, calm down. Don't laugh at me. It's no time for laughter and playing games and happiness. Only tears. When's the last time you had ice cream? I refuse to eat ice cream or marzipan until we get rid of all this capitalism greed. You have made amazing strides in the world. You're upset. You don't like how things are going and you want to do something about it. That's right. I should be in school. How oh, dare you, sir? Why are you still on this planet? You've been here too long. I've lived my life. You're I've lived up resources. I've lived a life, darling, and you you, you need to think about long. how you're going to live your life. I'm living my life trying to extend the life of a planet who's dying. Plants and animals are going extinct, and so am I. So I feel it's important to take each drop of this world that we have and to put it on our tongue and delicious, deliciously eat it. Have you ever had a hot pocket? No, I don't know what a hot pocket is. And I don't want to know. I should be in skewer. Have you ever smoked grass? No, I haven't. Nor should you. You should leave grass alone. Let it live its life. You're a terrible man. And you've been using up too much of our resources. Leave it alone. Leave this place. What's your blood pressure like? It's quite high, I hear. Because of people like you. You need to calm down. You really need to get a grip of yourself. You're just a young woman. And a young That's woman... Right. What? You won't let me be a young woman. I'm here with you, an old man, trying to explain to everyone they're raping the earth. Did you know a spider can make a house out of its own ass? We should all make houses out of our own asses. We should be living in holes and eating bugs like spiders do. What do you know about this world, besides the speeches you give? What have you, what have you experienced? There's no time. There's only time. Time until there's no time. But less time than that if you're not thinking about living your life. I don't know what that means, because I don't go to school. Why don't you go to school? Because I have to talk to ninnies like you and explain how... Terrible you're living, and how you're taking all our resources. What about right. my future? You've had quite enough, you old ninny. Oh, let's calm down. Let's try to relax. I don't know how to relax. All I know how to do is not be in school. In what? School. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Well, Did I you thought... die? Oh, I thought you just died. If I died, I would take you with me. I'd go happily. Except you'd go to hell for drinking your soda waters and your meat. Where I would go to heaven. Because I eat beans, and that's it. Boiled beans, sir. We should all be eating. 
When I was your age, I was on peyote, scuba diving in the Mediterranean. And now you are huddled up with your computer, trying to stare at walls as if they exist, as if they are more than just a wall. Turn around, look out the window, and look at a little bird chap. I have looked out the window, and I don't like what I see. I see dying animals, and an earth that's scorchingly hot. Soon the oceans will boil. Don't you think it's time for us to let things go? I mean, the world doesn't have long, and neither do I. So let's live a little. I mean, do you really think we can turn it all around? It's easy for you to say, let it live a little. You've lived your whole life, you hog. You decrepit old sick man. Look at me. I should be laughing and playing in school. Instead, I'm here having to talk to people like you. People who have just raped and pillaged my earth and my future. How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> 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 should be in school, but not a normal school. You should be in an academy so they can push you down. Perhaps a Catholic school where you get regimented. Perhaps that might turn you in to someone who appreciates the finer things in life. The I simple don't things. I want to appreciate. I just want to cry all day long. All right, let me ask you a few questions and we'll wrap this up. Shoot. I already asked you if you smoked grass. I told you, you no. Leave it alone. Do you think dinosaurs will save this planet? Dinosaurs are what make fossil fuels. Dinosaurs are the reason we have these problems. If they hadn't died, we wouldn't have gasoline. And we'd have an Earth that was two degrees cooler. We'd have ice in our poles. And we'd have polar bears that don't swim about but walk about. But what is two to three degrees? I mean, come on. Two to three degrees. How dare you, sir? The difference between life and death and Boiling seas is two degrees. You know nothing. You should also be in school. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. I hope you have a heart attack. <laughs> have you ever heard of a show called Rin Tin Tin? I don't like Rin Tin Tin. Do you know what it is to mine tin? The cost on the economy... The cost of the environment. He is a game to you, a character. Well, he is a murderer to me. He's a dog that worked for the police department and also for the military. Rin Tin Tin. He could learn. He could jump. He could save things and people. Our world is dying and all you can talk about is tin. I was going to say that you remind me of tin. And that's a good thing. I don't... How do I remind you of tin? That's a foolish thing to say to a little girl. Well, you both have a tiny heart and beady eyes. And judging from your new hairstyle, a large, thick mane. I always wear my hair like this. You have no hair, sir. That's a wig made with... Fossil fuels. It might be, and it might not be. It's very difficult to tell, which is why I wear it. I mean, it's why I... Do you like soda? I don't drink anything that makes me happy. I drink water that's recycled from my urine, and that's what everyone should drink. 
You don't add anything to it. I'm not what? You don't add anything to your pee. No, I drink it straight. As we all should. What are some things people can be doing to help save the environment? They can be digging and living in holes. And stop breathing so much. Everyone's taking in too much air. Do you know the carbon footprint of a broccoli fart? Yes, I know all footprints. It's not that bad. Maybe one's not bad. But there's so much broccoli in the world. But people don't love broccoli. It's one of the least favourite vegetables. I don't eat vegetables anyway. I don't care. I eat beans. You need more than beans, little girl. No, you don't. I'm living proof of this. You're living proof that you're a real bitch. You're a foolish old man. And I hope you meet your grave soon, sir. I hope that you get into a boat and it tips over. I hope you try to go up an escalator, but it stalls in the middle and you have to crawl the rest of the way up yourself. I hope you're walking down the street, you hit an oil slick, you slide on your tummy, and you hit your head on a newspaper stand. I hope you get a birthday cake and there's so many bloody candles because you're so damn old that your dumb wig catches fire and you burn up like Michael Jackson. I hope that once it catches on fire, my wig, it catches you on fire. And you explode. If you die, I, if you die, I would pray for my own death. If that's what it takes. And if that's what it takes, then that's what it doesn't take. That makes no sense, and I don't even go to school. Maybe you should go to school. Maybe you should go back to school. Maybe you should make me. I would if I could, sir. But I'm just a little girl. A little girl that's never tried gum. You're an old man who's chewed too much. Are we done? Ah, oh, I guess so. Never had a hot pocket. You're gonna have a hot pocket? Have you had a hot pocket? No, I wouldn't eat such trash. I told you as much and you know that now you're just making fun of me. How tall are you? I'm five foot, who cares? Don't ask me such sexual questions, sir. I'm a little girl of only 19. I was going to say, you seem much taller. Or maybe that's an unearned... something. Well, you're shrinking, sir. And I can't wait till you shrink into the ground and rot. Well, if I were to shrink into the ground, best assured my arm would reach up into the street and pull you down with me. And I would cut it off. And eat it all. After I go to school. Greta Thunberg for the hour. We've learned a lot about her own disposition. Her thoughts about the world. The natural world. And where we're going. And I, I thank you for joining me. Even though I... We did have our differences. I've had a terrible time, but I thank you because that's how I like to feel. Terrible. Now, what will you do the rest of your day? I will stare at the wall and think of my impending death. All right. That's your, that's your prerogative. What is gum like? But it's kind of chewy, obviously, and some gums are better than others. The um, the orbits is quite good. I like the peppermint. It's uh, it's like a it's like a sponge that keeps squeezing out juicy juices. You should try it. Give yourself 
Give yourself a chance. It sounds too delicious. Try half a stick to start out. All right, perhaps I will. But then it's back to skewer. What else? Any questions for me? Do you have any social media I you want to plug? No questions for you, sir. Only terrible thoughts of the end of your life so you can stop sucking up this planet's resources. You poor little girl. You, you really are. Man. You really are a scared little girl deep down inside. Were your parents rock stars? My parents are dead to me. Yes, but weren't they rock stars? No. My parents were fools. They used to eat meat sometimes. And my father had cheese a lot. Yeah, jeans that were locked? Cheese a lot. Jeans a lot. Jeans a lot. Jeans are a lot. Jeans a lot. Well, you keep saying it the same way. I can't tell what you're saying. Okay. Well, I hope that you have a good life. I hope that you open your arms and let the world in. You know, sunshine is a wonderful thing. Let it cascade across your face. I hope when you lie on your deathbed, you look up at a, a light in the hospital and you say to yourself, My God, what have I done? The only thing I regret in my life is having this conversation with you. Make that two of us. You're a despicable little woman. You're a disgusting old man. You have no compass for reality. I don't know what a compass is, because I haven't been in school. Then go back to school. Stop making fun of me. School. Greta Thunberg for the hour. I assume it's been an hour. That's how long it's felt. Go back to school. Good day to you, sir. I don't even know your name. I didn't bother to learn it. My name is David Attenborough. I've forgotten it already. David Attenborough. I forgot it again. David Attenborough. No. Oh, you little bitch. I consider that a compliment coming from you, sir. I I don't really want to end this interview for some it's reason. It's over, sir. Yeah. It's been quite over for quite some time, sir. All right, you win this one. Greta Thunberg for the hour. This is The Jeff Richard Show. For more of The Jeff Richard Show, go to thejeffrichardshow.com. Don't go there. And now a song from Meanest Man Contest. Goodbye, Good day to you, sir. Good day. Go back to school.